So here's a short swing, and you can see it's a pretty good distance that come out of that short swing. Now here's a normal length golf swing, and it's gone shorter than the short swing. So this actually what we find is quite a lot of golfers, when they swing shorter, they actually start to hit the ball longer than a normal length swing. That sounds backwards, doesn't it? Swinging shorter to hit the ball further. But with most amateur golfers, they have certain swing issues where when they swing shorter, for them to make a short swing work, they have to do and fix those certain swing issues that we see plague a lot of golfers, which just work out for longer shots. So when I see golfers with more traditional length golf swings around parallel to the ground with the shaft at the top of the swing, I will generally see a golfer there swing quite out of sequence to where they'll be starting their downswing with their arms and not too much body movement. So why that is for quite a lot of players and why a normal length golf swing ties into some shorter shots quite often is because we see the lower body in these players, as soon as they get to around halfway back in their backswing, their hip turn stops. They go into their full range of motion and then they don't turn their hips more from there. So they have all this dormant time of hip movement, which then gets to this normal length backswing, but via a very kind of un kind of functional way. And then from there, because their lower body's had such a long time dormant, it doesn't want to start the downswing. So we see these long golf swings or normal length golf swings that just generally don't go all that far as we can see from these shots here. So when we're shortening the golf swing, we got to learn from the master of the short swing. The short swing king, you could say, which is John Rahm. So John Rahm hits the ball an incredible distance with an extremely short golf swing. Now what he does, that one, helps him one, have a short swing in general, but two, will ramp up the distance for anyone who do this, and that is about that dormant time of the hips. John Rahm, as we can see here, as soon as his hips stop his backswing, so stop turning the backswing straight away, they unwind and they unswivel and rotate. So they start that downswing. Now that will create a tremendous amount of torque in that body. And as you're gonna see here, it's really going to re result in some great, great distance. So as soon as my hips stop turning, I want to turn in the downswing. So as you can see, straight away, I mean that one picked up a little bit yardage instantly with a much shorter length of backswing. Now, my feel there is as soon as I stop turning those hips in the backswing, I'm unwinding them in the downswing. That will keep my swing nice and short, especially for the golfers who want to shorten their swing anyway. But that just creates so much more power than that traditional longer golf swing. I mean, from there, that was a very short backswing. We got 158 yards, a little drawn it off the line, still hitting the green. So this is all with an eight iron, and we can see 114 miles an hour ball speed. Great for an eight iron. So again, I'm just gonna turn that lower body mid torso as soon as it stops turning on the backswing. Boom, unwind it again. So let's do another one before we talk about a drill we could do. Now guys, let's dive right into the drill. So the drill here to do forces you to do the movement and it forces you to exaggerate, getting that lower body to move earlier. So there's no time for dormant hips in this because you're moving your hips straight away. And this is the step through drill. So what we do with this, we step over to our, from our left foot to our right foot. As soon as we take that club back, we step through. As soon as we take it back, we step through. Now you can see that transfers the weight, but that also gets those that lower body opening up early because you're starting the downswing in with a lower body in a very, very, very early sequencing. Of course, to make a change, we've got to be able to exaggerate it. Brilliant drill. Now for pretty much all of you out there, this will actually ramp up your distance quite a bit, just doing the drill alone, if there's a way you can measure it. For me, it won't ramp up my distance. This is why golf's different for everyone. Because like I've been saying a lot in my videos recently, I've got cerebral palsy that affects my left side. So for me, stamping on that left leg does pretty much nothing for me other than making me a little bit more unstable. But that's where I want to tell you guys drills that are good for you who don't have cerebral palsy. Might not be the best for me, but it's a great one for you guys to go and do out there to be able to get this into your golf swing. So again, step there, step through. And there we go. So went pretty much on the line actually, really happy with that. <laughs> went on the line straight away. Good stuff, 154, 84 miles an hour. So it's very similar to my normal swing speed, but again, for you guys, it will ramp up your swing speed more. Just with, if you're familiar with the disability that I have, it's, if you're whatever side it's affecting more, you won't be able to produce that force in that side as much. So 
it will help you guys a lot more and ramp up the distance, but it will actually take you time to be able to get comfortable with this because obviously it's a bit of a timing move with getting that left foot back over again. So here we go, step through. Again, not too bad again, that one. Do you know what's getting me to it pretty straight? Right on the line. So again, I mean, even though for me, I don't feel as stable doing this, but it will feel perfectly stable for you guys. Look how straight it's going. So again, let's do another one. Again, pretty good. I mean, I'm happy with that. So guys, now we've done those three, let's do some normal balls feeling that exact same feeling because there's a shift and open at the same time. So that's how we're going to make use of that really nice short swing and hit the ball further with a shorter swing. A little bit of a skinny shot, but for hitting it a little bit thin, that one, a little bit of a pull left, still going to hit the green. But again, for a thin shot, I'm actually very, very happy with that. So let's again hit one. A little bit better of a strike this time. That was a pretty good strike. Not too bad. I'm actually quite impressed by that drill for myself here. It's probably the best I've ever done that drill, even though, like I said, might not be best for me. It's going to be brilliant for you guys out there. Let's do one more thing, that same thing, getting that shift and getting that rotation separation early. Right down the pipe. So for normal swings, short swing of an eight iron, 152 yards, 153 pretty much, 87 miles an hour of club head speed, 112 miles an hour ball speed. That's not bad for a shorter goal swing. Again, let me do a longer swing, just so you can see here. If we're a golfer who has that like, massive amount of dormant time, we're gonna see of those hips, bad sequencing, probably an offline shot and a little bit shorter. So I thin the living hell out of that. Again. Let's smack one as well and see what it will be even smacking it with a longer one. Club head speed was quite good, but you can see because the strike quality was so poor, we had 143, big ball left, that's missing the green for sure, 108 miles an hour ball speed. So, again, efficient, that short swing, that's what we do that short swing for. It's an efficient golf swing. So when we have the right variables in place, which I'll put at the end of this video, a little link to another video where it's how to make a short golf swing work with all the other little bits you need in it. But as you can see there, it forces you to move that lower body like the king of the short swing, John Rahm. So if we can copy John Rahm, have a good go at that, have a good go at that drill. Even for me, someone who can't really physically do that drill, you can see how straight it made the ball go. It made the ball go quite a good distance too. So you can see even for yourself, a little bit more able-bodied than me, you'll be able to make it work quite nicely. So if you enjoyed this video, click that like button for more golf instruction just like this. Hit the subscribe button, hit the bell button too to be notified every time I put out a video.